Hello guys, welcome back to What Is. We are back to the topic of space. In the last video, we told you about neutron stars. We also gave a brief introduction of black holes. In this video, we will go in detail about black holes and quasars. In this video, we will answer the following questions. First one, what are black holes? Second one, what are the types of black holes? Third one, how was the first photo of a black hole taken? Fourth one, what is a quasar? So, let us begin with our fifth episode, black holes and quasars. Let's get right into it. So by now, all of you must be familiar with the life of stars. Our previous video, Neutron Stars, explains everything about them, including their birth and many other facts. For a quick recap, once a star collapses on itself, it becomes a neutron star, given its weight was between 1.4 and 3 solar masses. But what happens? if it ends up heavier, it forms a black hole. Black holes are regions in space where gravity is very strong. By very strong, I mean really strong. Their gravity is so powerful that not only particles but even radiation like light cannot escape once they breach the event horizon. The event horizon is the boundary of a black hole. Anything that crosses the event horizon can never ever return. It's just gone. The process in which matter gets collapsed into the black hole is called pagetification. Once that happens, it is then added to the black hole's singularity. An infinitely small and an infinitely dense point of the black hole where space, time and laws of physics don't apply. Yes, scientists have theorized four different types of black holes. Stellar black holes, supermassive black holes, intermediate black holes and miniature black holes. The most common types of black holes are stellar and supermassive black holes. Stellar black holes are formed when massive stars die and collapse on themselves. Their mass is 10 to 20 times the mass of our sun and they are scattered throughout our universe. There can be millions of black holes in the Milky Way galaxy alone. On the other hand, supermassive black holes, as their name suggests, are giants when compared to the stellar black holes. They weigh even millions or billions of times as our own sun. Scientists have still not figured out how these supermassive black holes are formed. But we know for sure that they are found in the center of every big galaxy, including our own. The supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy is called the Sagittarius A. The mass of 4 million suns and a diameter of the distance between the sun and the earth. Since black holes do not reflect light, scientists can only study them by observing the matter in their vicinity. This matter includes a certain disk, a disk of particles of gases and dust that fall towards the black hole and quasars. Black holes were largely unknown until the 19th century. In 1916, using Einstein's general theory of relativity, a German scientist named Karl Schwarzschild calculated that any mass could become a black hole if it were compressed tightly enough. According to him, Earth, which has a diameter of 12,000 741 kilometers will be converted into a black hole if it was compressed with a diameter of 1.74 centimeters. But only in 1971, the theory was proved when astrophysicists 
who were studying the constellation Cygnus on the first black hole. So that is enough information about black holes. Let's now move to quasars. Quasars are a bit difficult to understand. But worry not, we have a simple explanation that will surely enlighten your thoughts on quasars. So basically, a quasar is formed when a black hole gets bombarded with a lot of gas that usually happens when galaxies merge. And when that happens, essentially the black holes in the centers of both the galaxies merge and start sharing both their resources, that is particles and dust. When that happens, it glows so bright that our sun in front of the quasar would be like a candle in front of a bright spotlight. By now, you might be wondering, two black holes are merging and as far as the properties of the black holes go, both should be gobbling up all the light. But why is it spewing light now? Basically, both the black holes merge to form a single black hole. It also makes the accretion disk bigger. So while the combined accretion disks are being spaghettified by the black hole, it moves at a near light speed and all the friction gives out the light. Very often, the matter of the accretion disk gets converted into light and radiation even before it reaches the event horizon. So just on case a quasar were to come into our solar system, we would all be burned to a crisp. But luckily, that is not going to happen soon. You know what? We are letting you, our viewers, decide what should be our next playlist be. Click on the i button on the top right corner and vote for your favorite topic. So friends, we come to the end of this video. But of course, with fun facts. Fact number one. The gravity of the black holes is so great that they can use gravitational time dilation. In this scenario, time slows down. Also, time completely stops at the center of the black hole. Fact number two. Stephen Hawking once said that black holes emit radiations and lose mass that way and evaporate. Fact number three. The black holes, after getting evaporated and eventually shrink to the Planck length, this length is the quantum size limit. Theoretically, there is nothing that can be smaller than the Planck length. In fact, there is no instrument to measure the Planck length in the first place. Fact number 4. Quasars is a short form for quasi-stellar radio sources. Fact number 5. Quasars eventually die as well. That happens when the supermassive black hole at the center of the quasar consumes all the matter of the accretion disk and there is nothing for it to feed on. So guys, now we come to the end. But if you are new, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Also follow us on Instagram. And here is our crew. And guys, we are looking for sponsors and collabs. For that, you can DM us on Instagram or mail us. Link is in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned.